the Depo-Medrol subacromial bursa injection demonstration. The demonstration that follows models one possible method for injecting Depo-Medrol for treatment of this condition. When treating a patient with chronic shoulder pain and positive impingement signs with Depo-Medrol, the goals are to enter the subacromial space with as little pain as possible and to inject Depo-Medrol without injuring the surrounding area or introducing infection. Identifying the optimal injection site requires a careful review of the patient's shoulder. The anterior aspect of the acromion and the lateral aspect of the acromion have been outlined to demonstrate these landmarks. The subacromial space is found between the area below the acromion and above the rotator cuff. When making the injection, you will enter this space and remain lateral to the acromioclavicular joint. The injection is completed through an anterior and lateral approach to the subacromial space. The injection site is prepared and cleansed with a topical antiseptic. The initial injection is made approximately one finger breadth below the lateral edge of the acromion process. Using a local anesthetic in conjunction with Depo-Medrol is elective. Local anesthesia can help minimize patient discomfort. Note, however, that Depo-Medrol should not be mixed or diluted with other solutions due to potential physical incompatibilities, as described in the product labeling. Therefore, if you use an anesthetic agent, inject it before administering Depo-Medrol. Always read the anesthetics package insert carefully and observe all recommended precautions. For patient comfort, a 27-gauge needle is used when administering a local anesthetic. First, inject 2 cc's of 1% local anesthetic into the subacromial space underneath the skin to provide post-operative relief. Then, the needle is directed slightly superior at a 20 to 30 degree angle to the horizontal in order to slip under the acromion process. If there is contact with bone, redirect the needle, either slightly superior or slightly inferior, in order to enter the space. In the correct location, the injection is made with minimal resistance. A two-syringe technique is used in order to avoid problems with fat atrophy and depigmentation. These problems occur when the steroid is injected just beneath the skin. The appropriate dose of Depo-Medrol for the treatment of conditions involving tendinous and bursal structures varies with the condition being treated and ranges from 4 mg to 30 mg. A 25-gauge needle is used for the second injection. Make the needle puncture into the same spot to enter the subacromial space. With the underlying anatomy now in view, you can see the needle location between the acromion and the rotator cuff of the shoulder. This is the site of the subacromial bursa. The examiner locates the acromioclavicular joint and the needle remains lateral to this point. The local anesthetic and cortisone are injected into this space and there should be minimal resistance. A sterile dressing is applied to the needle puncture site. Advise the patient of any post-injection care techniques you recommend, such as the use of ice packs or over-the-counter medicines. Also, inform the patient of the possibility of a post-injection flare. Such post-injection steroid flare may cause a worsening of symptoms during the first 24 to 48 hours following injection. As with all corticosteroids, Depo-Medrol has been associated with post-injection steroid flare, tendon rupture, and crystal-induced synovitis, as well as hyperglycemia, osteoporosis, psychiatric disorders, myopathy, and growth arrest.